A 50-year-old man is expected to appear in the Khrabra Star Magistrates Court in Limpopo today after he allegedly assaulted and pointed a firearm at a 16-year-old boy on Wednesday evening. Now, the man was arrested yesterday after a video of the incident went viral. Let's cross now to our reporter, Matlako Komane, who is in Khrabla style for us for more on the story. Matlako, good morning. Now, just uh, take us back to where all of this started and what you have learned from being in the town. Yes, uh, good morning to you, Sakina, and the viewers at home. Um, you know, we this incident happened a few streets away from here, which is uh, a, a shopping complex that has a fish, uh, like, like, it's, a, it's a fit cook thing, but they also sell um, chips. So my understanding when I spoke to the young man yesterday was that um, they were there with his cousins and some brothers and some friends. Uh, the incident started at uh, the point where this gentleman or this old man was there and um, there was an issue with the salt. So I think they asked him to, in fact, the, the spice chips. And they asked him to pass the chips according to the young man. And it was then the this uh, well, this thing ensued. I, I, I don't know if there was an exchange of words as per se exactly there. And I understand that then he started pushing around one of the the victim's uh, family members. I think it was the cousin or the, the brother. And from then on, uh, you know, they started pushing each other around. And then the young man said he then decided to come in between them to try and stop them. It was when everybody, once he pulled out his gun, all the other uh, kids or he was with, all his siblings and his friends that he was with, then uh, ran away. He then decided that he couldn't really run away because he was, I suppose, cornered to some sort of extent. And that's when, um, as you'd see in the video, where the beating happened, as well as um, that threatening with the firearm. That's what I understand. But also, yesterday um, in this town it was I think in, in the early afternoon or so early mo uh, late morning early afternoon where community members went to the the, the, the shopping center where this took place and I think um, there was some sort of protest there uh, we saw the local mayor came in and he tried addressing the crowd and telling everybody to remain calm uh, I'm, my understanding is that uh, other community members have also um, you know, called this man out and they've, you know, condemned this incident that happened as, as well as, I suppose, white people in, in this particular community. You'd understand that Khrablos Dali is a bit of a, a farming community, if you would call it that. Uh, but so far, what we do know is indeed he is going to be appearing. He did, spe he, the, the, the perpetrator or the accused. He uh, spent the night in police cells here. It's also, I think, the following street from here, or the next street from here. So he will be appearing here. As to whether they're going to proceed with uh, bail or will it be a postponement, we will uh, be here and um, hopefully take those proceedings out just to see what exactly is it that's going to happen. I also understand that um, the community had said that they were also going to be there in court out in their numbers. Uh, also, you know, Sakina, when we did speak to the young man, he's feeling the incident, saying he no longer feel safe because this shopping complex is about two streets away from uh, where he lives saying he's just not really sure uh, walking around is somebody actually going to just pull a gun on him saying that he, no, he doesn't really feel safe um, in, in, in his hometown anymore walking the streets problems down not necessarily a crime ridden area people do walk around here uh, you know in the evening it's, it's, it's not the unsafest place in, in, in the country so we'll, we'll see if um, he'll also be there but I know the mother did say that that he, she was going to obviously be here uh, this morning, Sakina. Uh, Masako, uh, what about the young man's injuries? We saw him take uh, quite a beating uh, uh, via that video that was taken. Um, he was assaulted. Did he suffer any severe injury? Um, we, yesterday, Sakina, we followed them through to uh, Middleburg because um, they couldn't get a radiographer at the local hospital here in Kroblisdal, the, the, the government hospital. So they then made their way to a hospital in Middleburg, which is about, I think, 60 or 70 kilometers away from Kroblisdal. The mother, when I spoke to the mother, saying that the son is, um, he's, he's asthmatic. I think he, he has chronic asthma and um, they went to try and get that checked out, but saying that his lungs took a bit of a 
of, of, a, of a knock from you know the incident thing he's uh, struggling a little bit to breathe there's a, there's a breathing problem that is now happening as a result of the uh, you know the, the, the assault that happened on Wednesday evening uh, in terms of his you know the, the, the flesh or his external injuries just uh, bruises to the muscles and I understand that's what the mother said that was uh, the report that they got from the doctors but his lungs were the ones I think that were most affected because if you'd look at that video there's a, a, a point where he actually uh, does get a quite a beating on the chest so it's that particular area but there's also some emotional trauma coming to the mother saying that at a certain points you know the son would be would be just you know start screaming I suppose uh, in reliving or maybe um, reliving what happened on Wednesday evening Sakina and Mathako, uh, what are the charges uh, that uh, the accused will be facing? The charges that um, the accused will be facing will be uh, pointing of a firearm as well as assault uh, with, um, with assault GBH. Those are the two charges that we know. We had yesterday spoken to some uh, a member of the EFF saying that there was a there was a charge that they wanted to add, saying that um, on the Wednesday, um, if you look at the the case number, it was opened on the 16th, which was yesterday. So they were um, apparently they went to the police station and they failed. Uh, the police had refused, or there was a problem with opening up the case. Um, this was one issue that I'm, I'm hoping is going to also be cleared uh, you know today in court as to exactly what happened uh, when this young man went but my understanding the mother when I asked the mother he said that the police uh, sent the son back home because uh, at that point he couldn't speak because uh, he was I think shocked and I think he I don't know was it an asthma attack that he was suffering from but he uh, was having those problems breathing as well as um, he, he wasn't able to communicate properly so uh, they said that the statement should be taken on you know the following day once he had come down so that was the explanation we got from the family but um, there's also I, I, I did hear that there was an additional charge that was going to be uh, added or they're going to pursue a, an additional charge by I think it was the EFF that was here yesterday as well uh, when we were here yesterday, yesterday uh, afternoon Sakin. Thanks so much for that update. And of course, uh, we'll be staying tuned for further updates throughout the day. And uh, that's Matlako Komane for us in Kroblesdal, uh, where the accused in that assault case from a video that went viral in the town uh, will be in court later this morning.